How's it going everyone? So over the last few days I've been getting asked a lot of questions about this application cycle and uh, it's kind of hard for me to give advice about this application cycle because I'm kind of at the end of it. I'm not really in the process of actually applying, you know, going through like the MCAT taking and submitting applications. But a lot of you guys are getting worried with uh, recent events going on in the world right now, a lot of like dates being rescheduled and whatnot. And uh, I've seen like you guys posting on Instagram about your MCATs being canceled and all that. But today I got an email and I kind of just wanted to make a video and share it with you guys in case you're not in case you haven't gotten this email. So I'm in the uh, the A coma system because I had applied DO last year or I guess this cycle. And they sent out a really nice email today uh, talking about what they were going to be doing uh, in terms of their adaptations for this upcoming application cycle, which a lot of you guys who are watching these videos are part of, you know, upcoming application cycles or this one coming up right now. And they sent out some really cool stuff. And I think eventually it's going to spread over to AMCAS, but I'll talk about that in a second. So right now, what they're saying is they're going to accept all pass fail satisfactory unsatisfactory coursework regardless of the, your school if your school required this including prereq coursework in the context of your entire academic history. Um, you know, a lot of you guys are worried about are the classes you guys are taking online now that were not online, you know, at the beginning of the semester, is it going to count or are they going to still look at it in the same kind of light as they do um, you know, before because we all know that there's a little bit of a discrepancy between online classes and in-person classes and the uh, preferred, you know, one. And so now what they're saying is that uh, in terms of DO, they're going to be looking at, you know, just they're going to accept all of it and they're not really going to be like picky and they're not going to look at one versus the other in a different kind of light, uh, except online, online coursework, uh, including lab credits. So a lot of you guys who are taking labs right now are all switched to online labs. Uh, and this upcoming summer as well, a lot of the courses that are being offered in summer are going to be online as well. And so, yes, they're going to be accepting online lab credits. Review your application without all required laboratory coursework. If you can demonstrate that your institution was unable to provide these courses due to COVID-19, um, proof of completion later may be required. That's fine. You know, we know that you can have pending classes going on when you are applying to medical school. And basically what this is saying is if classes are not offered when you were expecting to take them, then just show proof. And that's, you know, that's easy. You can just go on to your registration website or wherever, you know, where, however you guys apply, whatever portal and sign up for your classes, just, you know, show screenshots or show some sort of proof that it was not available during that uh, session. Review your application and extend interview invitations prior to receiving your MCAT score by evaluating experiences, academic metrics, and attributes, attributes that you have demonstrated in your application. Uh, basically what they're saying is, um, that they're going to be looking at the rest of your application, e even without the MCAT score. Uh, previously, it was like you could, you know, go ahead, get your application processed without an MCAT score, and then submit your MCAT score after, and then you know they'll send it out. What they're saying now is they're going to be schools or DO schools are going to be sending out interview invitations and looking at your entire application without the MCAT score necessarily, um, because they know a lot of you guys who were signed up for April, May, uh, MCATs are going to be having them rescheduled and pushed off. And we don't know when, you know, you guys don't know when you guys are going to be able to take them because there's so many people that were already signed up for future MCATs. And now people with earlier MCATs are getting pushed out and, you know, they have to accommodate all those students. Um, in some instances, our colleges will accept you without MCAT scores, but many will await required MCAT scores before extending an offer to join a class. This is a, you know, this is a big deal. Basically, again, like what I said is they're, they're keeping it the same. They're going to look at your entire application, but they're not going to worry if you have a pending MCAT score or a date coming up. Consider reducing the required number of healthcare experience hours and extracurricular experiences. Um, that's a big deal as well. A lot of you guys have reached out to me saying you're worried that you weren't able to get in with like a scribe job because of all this going on right now, or you have been not been able to do your like clinical experiences, your research, because it's hard to get in with volunteering. Uh, this addresses it. Most of our schools will continue to require a letter of recommendation from a physician. Right, that makes sense. So if you plan on taking uh, an MCAT exam, please ensure you are currently registered for an upcoming exam and indicate your planned MCAT date in your uh, AACOMIS. Um, we encourage you to apply early and ready. So what it's saying is, and this is what I think I've been getting a lot of questions about is like, what do I, when do I apply? What is my application timeline now? Do I, am I waiting? Do I wait? No, what they're saying is, at least for DO, for AACOMIS, Go ahead and apply as if you were going to, you know, when all this stuff in the world isn't happening, you know, get your letters of rec, do your application, personal statement, do your extracurriculars, put it, everything on your application, put it all in there, 
right? Submit it when on the due dates. Don't be, don't worry about things that you weren't able to get done because of uh, current events because they are going to look past that. They're going to look at what you have now and they're going to evaluate you as a whole and you know they understand, right? They know a lot of their applicants that are going to be coming into this upcoming cycle are in the same position as you. So don't feel like you're at a, too much of a disadvantage over someone else because a lot of people are in the same boat as you and they're making those accommodations and they're going to be um, making those adjustments. Um, and there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of other stuff going on right here. Basi so this really does address a lot of what I've been being asked and I think yes this is AA Comus, this is DO. I, I firmly believe that AMCAS is gonna be, you know, going along the same route. They're probably gonna have the exact same guidelines because why wouldn't they? Uh, I think they're, you know, it's really nice that at least for DO that they've, you know, come together and they decided, yes, we're going to continue to evaluate you guys in the same timely manner as we would have before. If you're applying DO and I recommend, you know, if you're not picky between MD and uh, DO, I definitely recommend you apply DO. The AACOMAS application opens for submissions May 5th. So, you know, if you can't take your MCAT because of all the stuff going on until like, you know, August, September, maybe, you know, don't worry about it. Still submit. Still submit early because you can, you're still going to get processed. You're still going to get sent out to schools. Uh, colleges be begin receiving applications for, uh, this is this is AA Comus, um, June 15th. Continue on with it, right? Uh, AMCAS, they've kept their dates um, for, you know, for May. Application for AMCAS opens on May 4th. Uh, open for submission on May 28th. I explained all this in a previous video and process to schools on the 28th of June. Same thing. I think they're going to follow suit. I think they're going to go with the same guidelines. You know, it's only fair. It really is. Um, so basically the whole point of this video is, you know, stay the course, figure out when you can get your MCAT rescheduled to keep rescheduling it if you have to. If they keep canceling dates, I know um, May just got canceled today. And a lot of you guys have been posting on Instagram about it. May got scheduled today. Reschedule for a future date whenever you can. I know right now, uh, the yeah, the MCAT registration system is unavailable. Makes sense. A lot of you guys are probably trying to re, you know, uh, reschedule it. They're probably dealing with a lot of MCAT tests that they need to reschedule, and that's fine. I get it. And so, basically, the whole point of this video again is just to stay the course uh, with everything going on right now. You know, you. You, you can only do so much and what a Comus is saying is that they understand that and I think AMCAS is gonna say the same thing uh, you know get your letters of recommendation if it's already April start doing that now get your uh, you know work on your personal statement get all your uh, letters of rec and I think I just said that you know get all your coursework put together everything you have done and then kind of plan out what you are going to take find out what's being affected by everything now in terms of coursework and kind of get that you know, written down so that you can send those to those schools so that they know where you're standing in coursework uh, that's been affected by recent events. And, um, you know, that covers you, that puts you in the application cycle still at a, in a timely manner. And I think, you know, it's going to be okay, right? Like, this is the medical field. They understand the severity of what's going on right now. They understand how everyone's being affected. I don't think you guys are going to be too screwed over by any of this. Uh, I think they're going to make adjustments the you know they see that they see fit and I think it's all gonna work out just fine um, stay the course you know be early and it's, it's all gonna work out I promise um, I'm gonna try to stay updated on these kinds of things uh, and I'll try to keep making more videos if more news comes out with more updates but uh, for now good luck to everyone who is applying this coming year uh, I believe in you you're all gonna get in and become great doctors uh, but yeah for now that's all I got thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time